Why are we dead? What is happening? What? Look away, Kawa. Look, it will only hurt you. Ah! Emergency alert. Emergency alert. We have entered a state of emergency. All students, please evacuate to the gymnasium. Repeat, we have entered. Coo, coo. What's happening? Why is everything red? I... I don't know. Bah! Only until we know what's going on is there nothing to do but follow instructions. What are you spacing out for, Ka? Ka? Come on! No, no, I don't, I don't want to leave Woe here alone. Get up! She's gone! That thing is no longer water! It, it can't be. Come! By the time we arrived, the gym was already crowded with students and teachers. No one seems to know what's going on, though. The gym echoes with whispered speculation. Hey, did, did you see the box? Yeah, you had that too? Yep. Well, the class rep opened it, and I didn't see, but... Apparently there was a human head in it. Ours had half a leg. It was really good. Ah! 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 Uh, from the snatches of conversation I hear, it sounds like all the print boxes had pieces of human corpse in them. Were they all of woe, I wonder? Nobody seems particularly concerned, which isn't all that odd. It was a grotesque, but it's not like it was a dead bird. He. Ah, this this game's been messed up before, but he. Just some prime... Ah, oh, it's just some primate. Yikes. Yikes. Nanaki! This isn't some idiotic disaster drill, is it? We're not supposed to have one until next month. Do you suppose it was has something to do with that dis... Dis... Disasterful box? That... That was definitely Waters. Bah! Won't someone explain this ridiculous state of affairs already? Yeah, someone tell me what's going on. This is a bad dream, right? Someone wake me up. Someone. Oh, hello, friend. I've never seen you before. Is everybody here? This is Ichiro Mino, the headmaster. The headmaster? It seems we have all gathered together without panic or noise. Excellent. Unfortunately, there has been a natural disaster outside. The school is designated evacuation site, so please remain here a little longer. Natural disaster nonsense. The weather is perfectly clear. That was the wrong. Cool. Okasan felt no earthquake. Not all. It's not like we're anywhere near a volcano or anything. Oh, wait, I'm forgetting who everybody is now. I demand an explanation, headmaster. Just what is going on outside? Does this have something to do with water woe? Or shouldn't it be woe water? I don't know. Why have you brought us here? I repeat, there has been a uh, no imbecile. The genie interrupts and whisper discussions once more. Well, that changes nothing. So I have no idea what's going on. Are you all right, Ka? No, I'm... Yes, I am. This could prove to be a very bad day for us all. Could... Could prove to be? It already... It already is. It's so weird. I made a choice to make him sound like me, and now I'm playing him, and it's so weird. Cool. Mr. Nanaki, whoa, is missing. Cool. She must have run off somewhere. Okasan will go look for her. San, no, she's... San is an older breed, much closer to pigeons of the human era. Maybe he doesn't understand the concept of death. Trying to explain would only hurt my... Trying to explain would only hurt myself. The headmaster has proven entirely unhelpful. What should we do, Nanaki? Well, well... We can't exactly carry on with class. I agree. <clears throat> I agree with San. 
Let's go, well. Calm yourself, Kawaka. Kawaka, you to relinquish your sanity during a state of emergency is suicide. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Sir, we can't. What? What is going on? Sir, we can't just leave her there like that. May I go back to the classroom just once? I thought we were... Cl I thought these two were classmates. They're all acting like they're, they're above being in school in general. Well, the principal did ask us to remain here. Uh, did they here. But he didn't say we couldn't leave the gym, now did he? Okay, yeah. Fair point. I'm coming with you. As president of the student council, I have a responsibility to get to the bottom of this. Thanks, Sakia. Sakia. Sakua. Do not flatter yourself. I am not doing this for you. What it was foolish, loud, and no manners or sense. But she never deserved anything like this. I swear by my blood and name as a lapel. I will find the one who did this. You shall be my assistant. Come, Kawawa. Kawawa. Right. I'm I'm intrigued. And so I ex I exited the gymnasium in Sakia's majestic wake. I want to. I want to know what happened to Wo. Who did that to her and why? Can the evacuation possibly have nothing to do with her? Why wouldn't the headmaster explain anything? My head was a raging whirlpool of questions and no answers. And I did not yet know what we would find. What is this? A wall? I need a save. <laughs> a, a wall, a huge gray. What had been a clear autumn sky is now blocked off by dull gray. It's dark, almost like the sun has already gone out, gone down. A dome? Rather, we appear to be shut in from above as well. What? When did they do this and how? I don't know. Think of, think any of us in, in, was in full command of his facility as we came this way? Wait, I don't think any of us in full command of his facility as we came. Wait, we can't be certain that it wasn't already here. It does seem most likely that it was put in place while we all were in the gymnasium listening to the headmaster, though. I need a water. Okay. Right. You did say there was a natural disaster. Maybe this is some... Sh oh, you did say there was a natural disaster. Maybe this is some sort of shield. A disaster. So is destructive. There's nothing to be done but hide under an enormous gray blanket. Wait. Maybe they didn't give the headmaster the details to avoid causing a panic. If that, if that were the case, they would be robbing us of our right to know why our lives are in danger. Our lives are in danger. Hot Rod. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm quoting uh, Energon. Uh, not Energon. Our worlds are in danger. It's a it's a Transformers show. <laughs> That's a part of the intro. Uh, is that is there really is this really a shelter? Is there really a natural disaster? Either way, we don't know if there's a connection between what happened. Either way, we don't know if there's a connection to between what happened to Woe and all this. I am burping, apparently, for some reason. <clears throat> all that water gas. Either way, <laughs> the voice and everything. Let's go to the classroom and then tell Mr. Inanaki about the dome thing. Very well. Excuse me. I mean to say excuse me. Very well. I didn't expect this part to be so long. The guy just says, go play the game normally. I didn't realize there was going to be more game here. Looks like the other classes left theirs as they were as well. They're at the teacher's desk. Is everybody else planning to stay in the gym? Japan is a country full of fools who have gone lazy through too much peace. I doubt anyone else. Uh, I doubt anyone else has dared take it upon themselves to investigate this matter. We're we're here. The 
The box is still where I left it. Inside is... Don't show it. Please don't show it. I can't suck you. Sakua. Sakuya? Oh no, my sister is in a chat. She can hear me say these names and say I'm wrong. Oh no! My worst fear has come to fruition! It's, it's Ryuta, it's Ryuta and Sakua, right? Ryuta and Sakua. Sakuya. Sakuya, Ryu, Ra, Ryuta. Right? Sorry, could you? Hmm, no matter. What is this madness? Huh? There's, there's nothing here. That can't be right. We left it right here. It's not like it got up and moved on its own, is it? Someone came and removed it. Well, everyone was at the gym. This is life. Not some third-rate mystery novel. Exactly, Sakuya. Yuta? Yuya? Salutations, Ryuta. I see your babysitting, Sakuya. Do you not, do you not throw, do not throw my name about like some cheap toy mongrel. How cruel. Well, I can't blame you for being tense, given the circumstances. I think you'd act like that regardless of the circumstances, Yuya. I'm, I am sorry about her. I'm not doing his voice British enough. It pains me to think what would hap what happened. That is too too badly British. His expression clouds. It's strange. I've seen him with an expression other than carefree cheerfulness before. You know her. You've known her. You'd known her for a long time, right? Yes. Do you know something about all this, Yuya? Well, most of this business is still a mystery to me, but I can at least answer the questions we face right now. The whereabouts of the corpse, you mean? Yeah, that. Y yeah, that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that. No, as you said, this isn't some third-rate mystery novel. Corpses don't disappear, and we won't be having a famous detective show up and find the culprit for us. Anyway, the on the other infirm infirmary assistant and I gathered her up in the chemistry lab. Chemistry lab? What for? What for? For one, well, we couldn't just leave her scattered throughout the school, if only for the mental health for the students. Secondly, for the autopsy. As you know, we have two things going on at once here. The only human in the school was cut up and distributed to the rest of the school. And now, there is some natural disaster happening. I imagine you're wondering if there's... If there isn't a connection between the two. We are, but you haven't found any. What do you know? I told you, this is all the mystery to me, too. I suspect we will have an easier time investigating the murder as long as we're sealed in like this, though. The doctor should be proceeding with the autopsy, but how? Not the doctor. The doctor? Why him? You don't trust him. Of course not. I don't think, I don't want to think about what he might do to her. He might even have, hmm. You suspect the doctor? Yes. Everybody knows he's a nutcase. He's probably killed her for some crazy experiment. He is an expert in the field. Who else here could perform the autopsy? But, I know that we're because, where, you, where you're coming from, you, Ryota. He's... Not exactly the most ethically minded bird around. That's why I asked Professor Nanaki to come too. He should be there by now. If you want to go, make sure. All right, we'll go, we'll go later. So Will has been gathered in the chemistry lab, and the doctor and Mr. Nanaki are examining her now. Mr. Nanaki. Mr. Nanaki might. Mr. Nanaki might not be the best witness, but he's better than no one, right? We, we know where the corpse went then, but why are you here? Me? 
I'm investigating under my own orders, of course. Playing, playing detective, mongrel. That I have to make sure we didn't miss any pieces. Anyway, what are you two going to do now? Personally, I think the murderer and the evacuation are almost certainly connected. I am inclined to agree the headmaster's refusal to explain our situation may me doubt his story in its entirety. Indeed. So, Ryuta. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? I, I, I know you feel you want to find the one who did this to Wo as soon as possible, right? Yes. Whoa. Gone for a moment and suddenly she has she was turned into this. Who did that to her? I'll find them and I'll I'm going to find the culprit and I'll I'll I never felt this emotion before. But now I heal nothing else. When I find that bird I'll I have itchies everywhere. Ow. My thoughts exactly. Unfortunately, the school is a mess. And we won't find anything but chasing after her shadow. I think we should try to solve both mysteries at once, whenever possible. Of course, the wall could just be there because of the, some natural disaster. That's about all I have to say. Why is my face? Everything's itchy. <laughs> hmm. We didn't need your advice. We don't. We didn't need your advice from that start. You're nothing to talk, anyways. Mongrel? You stop saying mongrel, buddy. I am I am an outside observer of this whole event now. Thanks, Yuya. Uh oh, we'll do our best to help. W oh, one more thing. You might want to talk to one in the maintenance office. Tell him I sent you. You mean that antisocial cocktail dandy birdie everybody hates? Yep, him. Don't worry, he's a good guy. He'll be able to help you. And you might find something useful in there. Well, that's it for the talky mongrel. Adieu. Right. <laughs> well, that's it for the talking mongrel. Adieu. He saunders off towards the staircase. What a dreadfully obnoxious man. I thought he'd never shut up. You gave us some good advice, right? We should be grateful. Anyway, I don't think we'll find anything else here. Why did he have to stay? I, Yuya should have stayed. Indeed. Hmm. Where should we head next? I doubt we would go. Oh, well, I doubt we would go amiss by visiting the lab, the maintenance office, or by investigating the wall outside. Right. Let's go to the office first. Oh, let's go to the office first. Maybe this one guy will be able to help us. The maintenance office, in other words, the repairman's shop. I doubt we'll find anything useful there. Yuya said to go right. I doubt, um, <clears throat> I doubt, oh, Yuya said to go right. I doubt the integrity of his advice. Jeez, is that any, is there, is that anything to say about your own brother? You should be nicer to your family. My family? Do you mock me? That filthy blooded mongrel is no relation to me. Whoa, calm down. Guess his uh, elitism is still running business as usual. We don't have time to waste, we should hurry. Maintenance room is in the corner of the main building on the ground floor, right? Excuse me? What is this? This does look. This doesn't look very educational. The handyman pretty much lives in here, I think. A dove. And one more. Mr. One, hello. What are you doing here? Didn't you hear the alarm? I'm R Ruta, and this is uh, Sakuya. We got permission from our teacher to investigate the building. Didn't you hear the alarm? No. No noise. And no leaving. That's what I do here. Whoa, someone he seems... 
Well, uh, whoa, 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 someone he seems, somehow he seems really cool. You mean you're too lazy to go to the gymnasium? Don't worry about me. You two go ahead and find your class there. No, we're not. Oh, no, we're not. Do you mean to interfere with us, wretched fool? Um, Yuya said we should ask you for help. Yuya. Yes. Yes, him. Oh, we... We decided to honor his request by coming all the way over here. Do you intend to stop us now? You, Sakuya, you where the heck are your man? Sakuya, where the heck are your manners? Oh, sorry, he transferred from overseas, and his Japanese isn't too great. He, he certainly has more bark than he imagined he has bite. He certainly has more. I forgot his voice already. Very well, come in. What did you say, you gentlemen were investigating? Two things. The murder of Wo Wata. Oh, no, it is Wata Wo. And the mysterious wall outside. You've been here the whole time, right? Do you know what he's talking about? Yes. I got an idea of it from Mr. Sakazaki. In other words... In other words, you know only what you have heard from the mongrel. Useless. No. I, I know plenty about the school itself, though. My job is to take care of the entire campus. Maybe you know the big gray wall outside is then? Nope. Useless wrench! Skuya, calm down. Though I'm not sure there's anything we can learn here right now. Oh, wait. Mr. One, could we use your computer? Maybe we can find out what's going on uh, outside. Sadly not. Everything's been cut off since this morning. Even the telephone wires. Even the telephone wires, eh? This is too thorough. I can't think of any reason. <clears throat> I can't think of any reason why they need to cut communication systems off if it were some sort of storm protection. This has been a wild goose chase then. A complete waste. Oh, this has been a wild goose chase and then. A complete waste of time. Hey, let's go, come Can we have gotten any of the calm? I would. No, I wouldn't know Okase. Okase would have been worse. Wait, I have a bright idea. A massive piece of advice for you. Bright and massive? What? If you get stuck, try the headmaster's office. I've been almost everywhere in the school, but never there. You might be able to find something out there, out about the wall if you check in there. Of course, the headmaster did not speak to us in the person, person in the in the gym. Oh, jeesh. Ah, if he was broadcasting from his office, then he might still be there. Asking him certainly seems like the best way to get some solid information. We should try that. You need a break later on. Feel free to come back here and rest. Oh my goodness me, my buns are hurt. Anyone Mr. Sakazugi sent is trustworthy. I'll get you some notes. If you find anything you can, you can come write it down. You never know what could happen in a situation like this, and you don't want to forget anything. Oh boy, who, who? Thank. Uh, it's both. This has been both not enough information and a lot of information. Whew. I just wanted to play my dating sim and date some pigeons. <laughs> I came in. I came into the series for a ha ha funny. I'm gonna date pigeons. Ha ha ha. Funny joke. Where am I? I've I this this has been my running. This has been the running theme. Things just surprise me here. I thought I I could be. No longer surprised, but here I am. Very surprised. For now, we should check the lab as on the wall. After those two, we can carry... Oh, after those two, we can try Headmaster's office. Got it. Go to... Pardon. 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 Oh, the lab, the wall. The lab, the wall. Is... Is there a guide for this? There is no guide for this. It, it literally just... I have to... Uh, pull out of the wall. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna dip into chat now. Anybody who's here... Where should we go? Lab or the wall? Okay, I'm gonna go to the wall. 
We step outside once more. The gray dome remains blocking out the morning sky. Hmm. Let's go get a closer look at it. We can't see much from over here. Indeed. Hmm. Iron, maybe. It's quite firm at any rate. Maybe it's some sort of shelter. Hmm. My phone's out of range. Maybe this wall is blocking the signal. That seems likely. What's that? It sounds thick and dense. Oh, it was trying to peek a hole in it. Will not be practical. Maybe there's an emergency exit or something. We should check. We still don't know whether or not we are completely sealed in, after all. I cannot do his voice anymore, everybody. I am drinking this water. <clears throat> okay, right, let's walk around the perimeter. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any doors or anything. Indeed, it appears to be identical all the way around. Do you suppose it is ventilated? We can't see a fancy... I can't see a fancy... I, I can't say I fancy the prospect of suffocating under this thing without knowing why it's there. I think an emergency shelter would have some sort of airflow built in, yeah? It's not. If not, then we're in deep trouble. Hmm. What are you looking at? Oh, there. Is there some sort of hatchway? He points upwards. Ah! Hatchway. Hatchway! He's right, about 20 meters up. There's a joint or something of a different color. That does look like it might lead outside. Let's go. Oh, there he is. I don't see any sort of latch. Can we open it by hand? You mean by feather or... <clears throat> by... By talon? Mm, yeah, maybe there's a switch or something somewhere. It does seem like we can do anything here and we can't do anything here now. Let's remember its location and... Remember its location and return it later. I don't like to think about it, but... Ooh, jeesh. A rumbly in my tumblies. Jeesh. Excuse me, once more, I am so sorry. There really is such a terrible disaster out there. This isn't the only option. Maybe it would be better to leave it shut anyway. Indeed, let us move on. We still don't know what's going on outside. I've got enough of my mind just thinking about woe, but I'm worried about my family outside, too. I hope my mother's okay. Excuse us. It's always been one of the gloomier parts of the school, but today the lab is downright depressing. Hello there, Kawara. Sir, thank you for being with Woe now. Of course. Sakazaki came and asked me to come right after you two left the gym. He must have gone past us. How unfortunate. The doctor is lining the pieces of Woe up on the on one of the lab benches. <clears throat> Must you glower at me so, Mr. Kawa- Hey, I remembered what his voice was! <laughs> okay. Mr. Karawawa. I'm not- <clears throat> I'm not glowering at you. Do you disapprove of my handling her? He gives me an evil smile. No, that's not it. I just wish he had a, we had a doctor who wasn't this malicious. Or malice. Are you finding anything, Dr. E... Oh, she sure forgot if his last name was. Not yet, no. Only just finished assembling her. It will take some time. I will send word for you when I have finished. Perhaps you have something else to do while you wait. Very well, we shall not interfere. Come, Karawawa. Right. Oh, Mr. Kawar. Mr. Kawar. A moment, please. Yes? Hmm. Allow me to give you a hint. A hint? 
You, submit, you suspect me of foul play, do you not? In light of that, I shall leave it up to you whether you decide to believe me or not. Anyway, I think you have missed something very important. Hmm? One might say that you have forgotten something. Perhaps you should bear that in mind. You're just a little bit off. But, I'm sure you'll find the answer your, yourself if you keep looking. Oh, isn't it beautiful, Mr. Kawara? The sound of your life crumbling apart around you. I take it does not suit your taste very well. He has, he was rather, he was rather fond of the unusual himself. A pity. He? Well, then, you can handle the outside investigation, and I, the internal, ho ho ho. Good luck, Mr. Kawara. Right, thanks, Doctor. You can rot, my friend. He's definitely enjoying himself. What a psycho. What did he mean when he said I was missing something? Maybe he was just trying to lead me astray. But don't worry about it for time being. What are you talking about with... What were you, were you talking about with... Kawara about Doctor. Nothing important. I just giving him a little emotional support and encouragement. I see. That's good then. I'm sure you'll remember not to cause any trouble for my students, Doctor. <laughs>